Hi, Miss Nikki here. Welcome to Biology 103. This is Principles in Biology, and all of the content for this course is going to be delivered through Blackboard. So you're going to have video lectures, you're going to have Connect homework, um, your quizzes, exams, virtual labs, everything is going to be um, accessed through Blackboard. So I've listed the due dates here for you, and obviously you read all of this because you went to course information and you looked at the first uh, day order of operations, and you've come down here and you've selected the orientation video. So just real quick, um, I have everything highlighted here for you, what you need to do, what steps I would take, you know, meet your instructor, there's me, this is my schedule. In red here we have drop-in hours. Um, on Fridays, make appointments. I usually have meetings, so I may or may not be here, but these are definite drop-in hours. I know it's a distance learning class. You don't have to drop in, but if you're on campus and you want to come say hi and introduce yourself, feel free to pop in. Um, we can also set up virtual meetings. If you're having some issues or if you want some help kind of organizing the class, just uh, send me an email message and we'll set up a time to do a virtual meeting. I've kind of given you a welcome statement and kind of some time management. So when you first start an online class, it's hard to gauge how much time you're going to need. So I've kind of overestimated a little bit here, and then you can tweak this as you go through the exercises and see how long it takes you to do them. So back here at course information, go back. There we go. There's also the course policies, there's the student resources, there's all kinds of good stuff in here, um, technology requirements, uh, tech support, um, uh, how to access Office 365, how to download it to your computer for free. If you uh, don't have Word or Microsoft Office, you can get that through the Outlook email and be able to use those uh, formats like Word and Excel and PowerPoint. Here we have the syllabus and the syllabus quiz, so you can open up the syllabus and read it. You can take the syllabus quiz. I'm not going to read you the syllabus. I just want to show you that everything is here for you. It goes through um, how we're going to learn, the discussion forums, the quizzes, when they count, when they don't count, um, what's the percentage of the breakdown for your overall average. Uh, this picture in here, I, I tell people if you're having issues with connectivity, you can always get an Ethernet cable and hook directly into your modem. And therefore, you do not lose signal. If the internet is weak, it won't drop you. This is really good for exam time. It's not mandatory, but if you're having trouble, this is the first thing I'm going to tell you to do. Um, I don't know if you know anybody who was able to buy Taylor Swift tickets, but I had a friend who actually hooked into her modem and she got like 3,000 in line to buy tickets and so she got floor seats in New Orleans and she's super excited. My other friend logged in at the exact same time and she ended up being 15,000 on the wait list to try to get tickets. So just it does make a difference with connectivity if you're hardwired connected to your modem. So just pay attention. If you're not worried about it, if you know you have good Wi-Fi, not a big deal. Okay, so here's the grading scale, tells you the units, and I have the entire schedule for the entire semester. So everything's going to be due Monday at midnight, all of your assignments. Let me warn you about this. If you send me an email at 11 p.m. and say, hey, I can't get my Connect to work, I can't do anything about it. I'm probably sleeping. So it is best to wait, and or not wait, excuse me, not wait until that night to try to complete all of this work. It's due on Monday. Try to get everything done over the weekend. Get it done Friday night, get it done Saturday, whenever, but that you have time to contact me if you get stuck on something. If you contact me at 11 p.m. and say, I don't understand this lab, you're going to get whatever score you get. I can't help you at 11 o'clock at night when it's due at midnight, right? So just be careful. Work ahead. I have everything laid out for you. If you want to work ahead because you know you're going to take off for Thanksgiving or you're going to go somewhere in October, go ahead. Work ahead. You can be several weeks ahead of time, and it's not going to bother me at all. So you'll see that we have everything laid out for us from now until the end of the semester. I'll talk more about the midterm and departmental um, assessments as we get closer to them, so be on the lookout for emails about those. The attendance during the first week, you have to do the syllabus quiz and the discussion board, and then we have information about the makeup assignments and uh, 
final exam. So we only have four unit exams. We do not have an additional final exam. So again, more information, personal welcome, uh, another little um, section about time management. If you didn't read it in the intro, you can read it in the syllabus. So then you're going to come back here and you're going to take the syllabus quiz. If you want to see some of the college policies, you can open up the college syllabus and read that. So uh, down here to introduce yourself to the class, discussion board, you can select this link here or you can access the discussion board through this tab on the left hand side. And Blackboard's being a little slow today. So introduce yourself, list your favorite movie, tell us about your major, any cool hobbies. If you want to put a picture in, a picture of you, family, uh, cats, dogs, we, we love all those pictures, right? And then every unit we're going to have a discussion. And the rubric for how you'll be graded will be listed here. It also pops up when you go to create a thread. So when you select discussion and create a thread, you should be able to see the rubric here. So hopefully it's a little bit larger than the other view. All right, so discussion boards are there. Let's look at uh, books. And then I'll go into course content and then talk about email. So here's the textbook for the course. Here's the link for McGraw-Hill help. And here's how to register. So I'm going to pull up the PowerPoint instead of playing the video for you. You guys can go back and look at this in more detail. But when you select your first assignment, it's going to ask you to register for Connect. Use your Calhoun email, fill out all of the information here, and you will have three choices that will come up. One, use the Connect code. So you'll enter a Connect access code if you bought your book from the bookstore. You could purchase it directly online. So it'll say, okay, enter your credit card, right? Right here, connect, this is the price, buy it right now, credit card, PayPal. And then you have temporary access. So I tell everybody first day, just sign up for temporary access. You've got two full weeks, you can do your assignments. Um, you won't have to stress or worry about anything. After the two weeks, when you try to log in to connect, it's going to say, hey, your code is expired. Please enter or your temporary access is expired. Please enter your code. So everybody gets temporary access for two weeks. So you should be able to get started immediately on your homework. So this is the video. If you'd rather watch the video, the help, if you need help, you can always email me. Now I'm going to go into course content. And I'm going to show you in the first week, I'm sorry, let me go back for a second. First week orientation, it says Blackboard orientation certificate here. So the Blackboard orientation course is over here. You're going to select, I'm going to open it in a new window so I can close it easily. So this is Blackboard student orientation. Everybody has to go through this course and get a certificate if you're taking an online class. So it'll tell you how to navigate. It'll give you some good background information. Um, so make sure you complete that. And then you're going to submit your certificate here. So create a submission. You're going to upload your certificate. And it has to have your name at the bottom of it and the dates that it's valid. And it's good for a year. So if you took it in the summer, you can use the same certificate. So as long as it says 2022-23, that's good. If it says 23-24, that's good. It just can't be from 2001. Or I'm going to make you redo it or won't give you the points for it. You don't have to redo it. Um, the orientation videos for McGraw-Hill. This is the very first thing that you're going to select to get to the registration page. If I select it, it's going to take me to the instructor page. So I don't have that image for you. But that PowerPoint that I just walked through, that's what will show up when you click on this link. So there'll be some orientation videos to tell you how to work uh, this McGraw-Hill Connect homework site and how the labs work. You'll go through that, answer questions, and you get a grade for that. So that's the first week. Then we move into Unit 1, and you'll see that it's divided by chapters, and then there's a discussion, and then there's the exam. So I'm going to go into Chapter 1. And you'll see instructions telling you kind of what to work on first, second, third, fourth. The Connect homework is all in this folder. There's a video, so me walking through the content. And then this is the PowerPoint if you want to follow along and make notes on the PowerPoint. And then this is the video. 
then we have learning objectives. so when we finish chapter one, once you've watched the video, done your homework, done your reading, you should be able to answer these questions a lot of people complete these questions and answers, put them on flashcards, do quizlet and this is how they study for their exam. so these are the questions you must be able to answer uh, to do well on the first exam. when i go back here to connect homework, you'll see that as soon as it opens, you'll see that there's a chapter assignment. this is reading and questions. then there's a lab and then there's a lab quiz. so kind of pay attention as you're doing the lab, um, take notes if you think you need to, and then answer the post lab quiz. you'll see if you're having trouble downloading the labs, if something is stuck, if it's giving you an error message, really two things. one, make sure you're using google chrome, two, clear your browser history. So you go into Chrome, you go to those three little dots at the top here, right? You're going to go to history, you're going to clear the browsing history, check all the boxes, uh, clear the data, close everything and reopen it up. There's something about the temporary cache or memory storage because these labs are so um, detailed and they have videos and you're dragging and dropping their simulated labs. Um, if you make a mistake, you have to start over. So it's very... Um, memory heavy and so sometimes that causes people's computers to freeze so this is kind of my my go-to this is the first thing i'm going to ask you did you are you using google chrome and did you clear your history browser and then after that go ahead and contact mcgraw hill support so this will take you directly to the uh, contact support you can email live chat phone okay so every chapter is going to look the same it's going to have instructions, it's going to have homework, it's going to have videos, it's going to have learning objectives. So I'll open it up just so you can see it again. Instructions, homework, videos, if they're too long, um, I've put them into two instead of one video. And you can see there's a lot more learning objectives this time. So when you get to the end of chapter three, you're going to take all those learning objectives from one, two, and three, and you're going to study those when you take your or before you take your unit one exam and then you're always going to have a discussion with every unit as well okay so let's go to the email this is where you're going to email me from so email your instructor what's great is if you use this email tab this tag shows up in your email so i don't have to guess what class you're in i'm teaching several 103s and I'm teaching several 201 anatomies. So if you say, hey, what did I miss? Or, hey, can you check my homework? I don't necessarily know which class you're in. I've got about 150 students every semester. And it's a little bit harder when it's online. I'm, since I don't see you, it's a little bit harder to get every, to know everybody's name. So make sure you click here, email your instructor. This tag will automatically tell me what course you're in. It'll be a lot easier for me to communicate and figure out whatever your issue or problem is I can um, go immediately to the course and try to figure it out. So again, this is highlighted here, but I've had students in the past that say, hey, I went to this Calhoun email and there was no message from you. You have to go to your um, Microsoft Outlook. So your Microsoft Outlook is where the message, when I respond to the message, that's where it'll go to. So you can send the message here, but to retrieve your message, you have to go to Outlook. If your Outlook is not working, please get it working um, rather quickly. Contact um, the help desk and tell them it's not working and figure it out. They send all kinds of information. I've had uh, administration contact me because they're trying to find a student to give them money back. Um, I, they, I've had a student drop from my class because they owed $3 and they never opened their email so they didn't get the message. So please make sure that you have access and that you're checking those email messages. I have my email sent directly to my phone, so I get your email messages. If I'm on my phone or my phone's near me, it pops up, I'll respond back as soon as I can. If it's something that, hey, I'm out and I'm not away from a computer, I can't check this until later today. Um, but, you know, make sure you can get into your Calhoun email, link it to something where those messages are getting pushed right away and it'll make your life a heck of a lot easier. So I did show you the office hours. That's something I wanted to make sure. Um, online textbook, you're going to go to course content, first week, orientation, and you're going to register. And it'll give you the option to select the temporary um, use for two weeks, right? 
If you have a Connect issue, we've gone over that. You can either come over here to Books and you can select McGraw-Hill Help. If you're inside the course, if you're inside this folder and you're doing a lab, you can just select right here and it'll take you to the McGraw-Hill Support page. Um, the Connect grades will post after the due date. So this is something that comes up quite frequently. Students will email me, they'll say, I just did the lab and it's not showing up in the My Grades tab. So the update isn't uh, simultaneous. It doesn't happen immediately. And sometimes for some reason, it will not update until after the due date has passed. So I think if you get a 98% on the lab, it thinks you might want to do it again to try to get 100%. So not all the grades are going to show up immediately. After every chapter, I go in and refresh the system and say, hey, sync all the grades. So after the due date has passed, I manually tell it to do it again just to make sure everybody's grades are in there. But please go ahead and check up on those grades after every chapter or every unit, whatever you feel comfortable with. But um, if you do something today and it's not due until tomorrow, it's not going to show up in all cases. So I've also told you the best way to study, do those learning objectives. I would use Quizlet. Um, if you're old school, you could write these on flashcards, answer question on one side, answer on the other. Uh, Quizlet is really good if you want to do uh, Quizlet. It's virtual and you can run through them anytime you have access to them. Um, the exams are going to be timed. And let's pull one up just so you can see it. So we come here, exams are gonna have true, false, multiple choice matching. This first exam is gonna cover chapters one through three, tells you the date that it's due. Questions are delivered one at a time with no backtracking allowed. Um, if you do not submit your test, you're going to get a zero. So go back and look at the makeup policy, read through it really well in the syllabus. You have to have a documented excuse and it lists all, what all of those are. Um, don't email me halfway through the semester and say, hey, I forgot to do my homework and take my first two exams. Can you open those up for me? Because my answer is going to be no, right? So part of taking an online class and part of taking college classes is kind of learning to be organized, um, learning that the, you know, there are consequences for not turning in your work. You have to submit your work on time. Um, for the makeups, I do allow makeups if you have a documented excuse. So a uh, minor child, your child is sick, someone in your immediate household, parent, you had to take care of them, doctor's appointment, doctor's note, military obligation, um, you had a court hearing, court case, but there has to be some paperwork. I'm not asking for you know, anything personal, just some documentation showing that this is a valid uh, reason for you to make, make up an exam. And again, if you work ahead of time, little things that pop up aren't going to affect you as much, right? So you have access to the entire course from now until the beginning or to the beginning of December. Yeah, so you can work ahead several weeks ahead if you would like. I know students have finished the course in eight weeks. They go back and check the discussion board because some of them require you to reply but you can work ahead and uh, not have to worry so much about meeting these deadlines. So hopefully that made sense. It is a lot of fun. We're going to be in the discussion board. I'm commenting. You're commenting on other students. Um, if you do all the work, I think the labs are fun. You know, they, they make you drag and drop. It's not like you're just reading. You're actually physically moving things around in the lab. So it's as close as you can get to real life uh, lab simulations. So if you have any questions, I'm here. I'm happy to meet with you. I'm happy to discuss anything. I'm happy to walk you through anything. When you're doing your learning objectives, if you come across any questions that you don't really understand, you can email me. Students have sent me their learning objective answers and said, hey, I just want to make sure chemistry is not my strong suit. Can you look through these and make sure that I have all of them answered correctly? I'm happy to do that as well. So just reach out to me. I really do want you guys to be successful. Um, I was a full-time student. Uh, I went to school full-time, worked full-time, and in one section I worked a full-time job and a part-time job and I had children so um, it's a lot of work but if you stick to a schedule or a plan you can do this if I can do it you can do it right so um, just uh, contact me reach out if you need anything and I'll talk to you guys soon bye